Hey, Elizabeth Benzel here of the happywomanacademy.com and today I want to talk to you about a very sneaky thing that could be undermining the exact results you want to be getting with your clients and it might be the hardest skill for some people to learn because it is so counterintuitive but it is really diminishing the high level of mastery that I know you want to achieve in your coaching, bodywork, healing, caregiving practice. And I'm going to give you an advanced strategy today on how to fix this problem. And I'm going to tell you about it through a story and I'm, I'm a little antsy and vulnerable to share this with you because it's such a, a personal story. But about 14 years ago, I was in a really unhappy marriage and I was seeing three different psychotherapists at the same time to try to help propel me in my personal growth so I could fix what was wrong with me so that I could fix my marriage. And all three of these therapists were very well respected, had great systems in place, but all three of them missed that I was actually in an emotionally and physically abusive marriage. How could that happen? How, how could that happen? And that happened because they were letting their preconceived notions about who I was as a healer, who my husband was as a healer, and stand in the way of what was actually going on. And they let their agenda and their systems also stand in the way from really be able, being able to help me. So that's what I want to talk about with you today. And it has to do with being so strongly centered in yourself that you are able to not push energy, push your agenda, push your information towards your client. Because your propensity as a natural born healer is to want to give. You're so great at that. But to be at a high level of mastery, you have to be willing to receive information from your client and then use your system to help them, right? So the energy needs to come to you from your client. You need to be strongly grounded and centered in your own body, relaxed and letting that information come to you. Now, how do you do that? So one of the ways is to, if you feel yourself needing to prove a point or push a point home, then you know that you're pushing energy at your client and you may be missing what they really need that's really going to help them. So feeling in your own body that you are just grounded, you're relaxed and energy is coming towards you and then you're in this sort of loop, right, of receiving energy giving guidance, receiving energy, giving guidance, right? I say we direct energy, we don't control energy. So that's one thing. Another strategy, and this is advanced and it's gonna sound kind of weird to some of you, but is to make sure that your sixth chakra, your third eye, is spinning clockwise. How do you do that? Let me show you. <laughs> you take your thumb and you point it right there and the direction that your fingers is, are curling is the direction of an open chakra, right? So you want to, you can go like this with your finger and you can ensure that that chakra is spinning the right way to allow you to receive and respond, right? You want to receive information, you want to perceive it, you don't want to project it, okay? So receive and respond, perceive and respond, not projecting and blocking. Got it? So if you learned something good today, if that was inspirational for you or helpful to you in any way, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to talk with me about how I could help you overcome your blocks, go ahead and apply for a breakthrough session for me the, with me. The call is free. I'll put a link below. You can also go to the happywomanacademy.com and read about me and apply there, okay? So I'm going to be talking to you again tomorrow and giving you tips for your abundant healer's journey. See you tomorrow.